We should be live again. What's up? I've switched over Hi. to hosting via the Virginia server. And I'm getting 0% dropped frames so far. So that's a good sign. Very swag. Hopefully it keeps up. Oh. Um. Search earlier for badger related puns. Oh no. Um, one, of the, one of the links was for punjenerator.org, which has. Oh no. It just has like, you know, slant rhymes and words that sound similar to the word that you give it, and then comes up with phrases um, yeah. that can replace. And um, the, the, words that it, the, the words that it say. Uh, you can replace with badger are stature, scatter, bladder, matter, latter, ladder, after, anchor, answer, banker, banner, and cancer. I love so, badger puns about cancer. Yeah, don't don't you don't you think of a funny um a funny pun that people will definitely say in real life of uh, prostate cancer, prostate badger. What does the badger so. doctor say to the other? It's Prost cancer. <laughs> A man badger, my own heart. Dark badger. Instead of dark matter, you would totally get that if I didn't immediately explain it. <laughs> I do, I do kind of like this one though. The Church of Jesus Christ of Badger Day Saints. <laughs> okay, yo. <laughs> Sounds the... pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> the Church of Badger Day Saints, yo. <laughs> Ask a silly question, you'll get a silly badger. There's just there's just a lot of different types of cancer that have been replaced with the badger. That's lung badger, pancreatic badger. Pancreatic badger. Yeah. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, what if what if both you could replace bladder with badger and the cancer with badger, and then you have bladder cancer? <laughs> Badger Badger. I don't know guys, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I have Badger Badger. Is it fixed? It does seem to be the case, boy doy. I'm not getting any dropped frames since I switched the server. Oh. Don't just stay that way. Please. Where do I go? And what do I do? Do I need the power cell again? I'm such an old man. Just back in my day, we had Banjo Kazooie. That was the open world game. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have a key module. And we went here. Do I need? Uh, all right, let's try going back to where it was before. We go down here. The Brian Kelp. I don't know what that does. Uh oh, we got a cat cam. Cat cam. Boy, doy, you have a choice between the orange cat and the torty cat. Either or shall be re uh, retrieved upon request. Not to where we also have the fundamentalist church of the of Jesus Christ of Badger Day Saints. And the finances of the Church of Jesus Christ of Badger Day Saints. And criticism of the Badger Day Saint movement. <laughs> Torty, alright. Torty Cat is not gonna like this for very long, but. Get Show over here, me Grace. The grace. Show me the Grace. This is Grace. She is made out of void-based material. <laughs> she absolutely despises being picked up with every fiber of her being. Hello, baby. Hi. You're being held? <laughs> Bit of a challenge. We're working through it. One of these days, she'll warm up to it. She's just years. like, I swear to, oh my God, Grace, you gotta chill. <laughs> she is very cute. Um, I can, I, I will bet money on the fact that she is a Siamese mix, that she 100% has Siamese in her blood. She displays so many characteristics of that breed like my folks just recently got five Siamese cats they wanted one Siamese cat the one Siamese cat had a litter of four that they didn't know about they gave away two of them so now they've got three Siamese cats and they all have this like there's a paw on your chest like mm, arm's length nope. buddy okay yeah Social yep. <laughs> distancing. Keep that's, away. That's what Bat does. Bat does not like being picked up. And he, for, for all 16 pounds of him, he will, he will stiff arm you just all from right. the get go. Bat is a fat kitty at 16 pounds. He's big. He's you guys a like big baby. I feel like I the first picture I ever saw of Bat, I'm like, wow, mm -hmm. your cat is fat. And like both you and Isaac at the same time were like, no, he's just friend shaped. He's not <laughs> fat. And like, I'm pretty sure your cat is fat. No, it's his skeletal structure. And I'm like, I think it's the fat. To be fair, he does to... have very big, big bones. Like his, he's. He's just structured large. He is also big. But he's also fat. <laughs> yes. He's a fat baby. He's a fat bat. What's up, William? William I mean, sits on the windowsill. It's window not shell. like I haven't you know, tried to, to get some... the injustices look... of the world. 
It's not like I haven't tried to look into his weight at all. We've we've asked the vets about it and they say he's fine. So I'm not worried about it. He moves around just fine. He's a fat baby. Thing is I have to hesitate to call him fat because whenever I call him fat, mom's the one who's like, no. No, yeah. no he's just your big boy. <laughs> like, yes, he's big because he is large, and he is large because he is fat. <laughs> I wish I knew where I was going. <laughs> okay, there's a fire gleam over there. I wanna go over to the fire gleam. Because you, you plug the battery into the door, you got through here, you went up the vent. Oh, and vents again. <laughs> Sussy Aloy. Never say that out loud. Ever again. <laughs> okay, there's a yellow thingy here. That's <laughs> Daru. Mom, not, up the other building that way. not a, a yellow thing there. Your body, Aloy. Not the Oh. 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 Hold up. Hold Wait up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Some may <laughs> ride. <laughs> Once I can do it again. I know for real. No. How do I cross over to the other building? Damn it, Aloy. Did he DM Moogus? A Googus. That way, straight off the wall. <laughs> Aloy, what are these angles right now? Ah! <laughs> Up! What the? right there. Damn it, Aloy. I'm 
with this mournful cello? Listen, it's better than the, the BGM that played for like the first 30 hours of the game. Uh, don't remind me. Aloy! 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 Where was landing? Ay, ay, ay. It's cool. It's fine. I'm cool. I'm fine. Okay. Aloy Mao sounds like a good emote. Ooh, excuse me. But we do already have a Falco Wheeze. William, my child. What injustice has befallen you? Like we were just talking about how um, uh, Deadmester, the the emote mm -hmm. of his like stretched out face, like mm -hmm. we could absolutely have that as an emote, but we like have GG Wow, which like kind of covers that uh, a similar s spot. For a similar kind of emotion. When mm. we have like 30 emote slots, we can absolutely have like different variations yeah. and stuff. <laughs> but we are but poor streamers. Okay, so this is just another way up. I was going backwards the whole time. I had that suspicion. Ripaduski. I don't know. Okay. We go in here. Oh, ha. Uh ha. And the sky's getting dark. Night's settling in. And the uh, ha. Uh, the ha. Uh, Insightful commentary. Uh huh. Uh huh. That letter could be useful. I just need to find a way to lower it. Oh? There's an opening in the wall behind the letter. Bring the box over here. I can push the box. No, I just mount it. So I need a way of pulling the box. Or standing on some funky world geometry, which doesn't seem to be doing me any favors. Hey, box, how does it feel whenever you're watching someone solve a box puzzle and they keep talking about it and saying your username? I need to move this box. Bye. This will break my fall. Not intentional whatsoever. <laughs> Nailed it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> That's me. A key module. Good. Now all I need is the two part code for the door. OK. 
Okay. Okay. We got no, the key module. Out. Need a physical key. I got that. Secondly, you need the code. Relic consists of Leo's bum code followed by Astrid. You know, Leo has a habit of changing his, and Astrid aims to do the same. You might have to inquire with them. You can find Astrid on the ninth floor. Leo's in the building. He's most hanging in the caravan on the seventh floor. I am on like the first. Well. Ancient valuables. Ancient valuables. Oh. Be able to pull that. Oh. I think that vent might lead to the floor. Yeah, let's don't look up. But... Well, of course, this particular vent opening doesn't stay hanging on. So you have to go get this box in order to be able to reach the door. Of course. Come on, Aloy. There we go. This data might help. Leopold Mitchelson. <laughs> You're lucky you can cook along, because by all that's holy, you were last in line when they handed out the brains. <laughs> Two, at each number counterclockwise, so from right to left. Oof. Wow. That's one side of the code down. Just need to find the other. Full code. Uh, Astrid would have been higher up. Yeah, I was here. Let me grapple here. Now we have to get into this room. Come on! Come on! No. Okay. <laughs> no. Gamers don't look up part two? Gamers Eight. don't look up was so popular they made a sequel. Here's nine. Go in from above. 
I guess so. Maybe. Aloy sequence break like you mean it. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Now what? I'm scared. Now what do you do? It's dark. There's no jump holds. Ow. You are very high up. What am I looking for? Oh what my am I God. fighting for? I watched don't look up interesting in film a bit of a blunt instrument when conveying a message though yeah i my folks watched don't look up i have seen enough about the movie to know exactly the type of message that it's trying to get across like between uh like memes and just clips of the the movie on social media i don't think i even heard about this film it's on Netflix. It came out last year. And it's like, huh. one second. 55% on Rotten Tomatoes, 49% on Metacritic, and a 7.2 on IMDb. Charming. It seemed pretty popular on Netflix when it came out. But it's mm -hmm. like, I mean, these scientists are like, star studded cast. DiCaprio, these scientists make this Jen discovery like, a giant meteor is going to hit the Earth and is going to cause untold devastation. And yep. then you have Jonah Hill. And uh, do you know the fire festival? Mm -hmm. That whole shebang? The, there was yeah. a quote from the writer's room where they were like, all right, Jonah Hill's character, what if the fire festival was a human being? And that's what Jonah Hill plays in the movie. Ooh. Where, like... Hey. The scientists are like, there's a meteor that's going to hit the earth. And Jonah Hill is just like, don't look up. Don't, right just, just don't look up. There was a quote from the, uh, the movie where it's like, I'm in favor of the jobs that the giant meteor is going to create. Like, <laughs> 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 oh, man. Yeah, just looking at the, the synopsis. Like the little blurb that it says for the movie on Google is two low level astronomers must go to a giant media tour, must, must go on a giant media tour to warn mankind of an approaching comet that will destroy planet Earth. And the movie came out in December 5th, 2021. I know exactly what this movie is trying to do. Yeah. I know exactly what this movie is about. <laughs> yep. Aloy, why is this handhold here if you can't jump up? Why, game designers, why did you do that to me? It has to be symmetrical. For reason. For reason. Okay. Aloy, get on top of the thing. Get on the ball. Okay, sure. All right, let's try this again. Mm. 
Okay. Steve, through here. I am a legend. Get a load of this guy. I don't know how I was supposed to get in here, but that's how I got in here. <laughs> 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 Okay, there's a thing here. Mission complete. Mission complete. Oh, I was supposed to go from the other building. Here's the elevator. I was supposed to go over there. Nah. Conceit. Conceit <laughs> emote. I don't know about that one, Jim. One of the most godlike emotes ever made. Mm. Is that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Is there a handhold there? How do I get onto the handhold? <laughs> reach that ledge by the big hole in the wall if I had something to stand on. Oh, it Thanks. wants me to bring Bye. one of the boxes up the elevator. Thank you, Aloy. Thanks, Aloy. I didn't need it, though. <laughs> anyway. See, I should be able to make the jump to the other building. This building took me long enough. Leo's and then Astrid's. Audrey's taking a second. I'll wait for her to come back. I'll grab another drink. boy look at him he is orange and he's a boy
Hi, William. Hi, buddy. One more ornament for the collection? I should give this to Stemmer the next time I see him. These ornaments are a pretty cool game mechanic or a pretty cool way of using or uh, adding collectibles to the game. Because like open world games love collectibles, right? And <clears throat> at some point, you know, or, or many of these open world games have literally given you these collectibles, like find these special statues. I'm like, cool. What do the special statues do? They get you an achievement. Do I get anything else besides the achievement? Um, no. Cool. So why do I want them then? Because we put them there. And I'm like, all right, you drive a hard bargain. I'll go get them. Whereas these are collectibles that you go to a bunch of different places. Um, I'm going to pass some time until nightfall. Gotta be a bench somewhere, right? Because that's when it really shows up. And because they're shiny. <laughs> Machine strike. Demers up here. Tomorrow, I like the stuff we use again. But I also need to wait until nightfall. Are there nearby shelters? Is that the nearest shelter? Sheesh. Okay, there should be a bench here, yeah. Sit. Sit progress time, jeez. Night. So, um, as you go through the game in Horizon, you find these things called uh, decorations or um, these relic ruins, which are like buildings of, uh, you know, the old world. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn had these, but they were just like MacGuffins that you would collect and then talk to a particular NPC and then that NPC would give you rewards based off of how many of the MacGuffin that you collected whereas this one these are decorations that you get to plug in to this area and above the serpents continued to dance in the sky 
like sparks leaping from a flaming forge. First of all, I love the did shit you find out of this more guy. Ornaments in your travels? Mm -hmm. I did. Stemmer is Come like here. one of my favorite NPCs so, of all time. More. It's just the embodiment of a worm hug. <laughs> like his his job, his in you know, his his trade is storytelling. So anytime you talk to him, he speaks to you as if he were telling a story. Uh, that's this wonderful. One seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Ba ba ba. Fireworks like yeah. Morlands. And all that other stuff floating around. Is that There's champagne oh. flutes? I uh, don't think so. Dust? No. Hail? I think it's just <laughs> sparkles. Oh. Interesting. Just sparkles. Oh, and before <laughs> I forget, help yourself to the contents of that chest over there. Wow, just heroin, I've had worse dare, to to go. Quest. Recovering lights long lost, but deserved riches and rewards in kind. I'm not quite sure I live up to. Thank you, Stemmer. I would die for you, Stemmer. <laughs> I would live for you, Stemmer. <laughs> Ancestors return? What's that? Just, I don't. It's a legendary Shredder Gauntlet. Nah. I hate Shredder Gauntlets. Maybe SMH. try this one. So, like, the way Shredder Gauntlets work, I don't even know if you've seen me use them. Um, I might have a long time ago. I don't rem I don't know how you're even supposed to hold that thing that I'm looking at in the corner of the screen right yeah. now. Yeah. So, there, it's like, like a... I assume that's a handle there. It's like and a yo-yo. Like, <laughs> like, you throw it. It hits the thing, and it comes back, and you catch it, and then you throw oh, so it. It's like a boomerang. And it hits thingy? the thing, and it comes back, and you catch it, oh, and you yeah, throw it thing. for a third time, and then <laughs> it explodes. But like, hmm. when you throw it, it hits the thing. When it comes back. It like expects that you're not moving, that mm. you haven't yeah. shifted positions from where you've thrown it, or any travel time that it has. Unlikely, to considering the way combat works. Right. Hi. Tickle, 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 tickle. Look at this boy. I don't think I could ever get to the end of this quiver of light. Mwah. Mwah. A chakram? Kind of. All right. You think you're so good? I think it's like the shittiest yo yo in existence. <laughs> I will, um, he sit in lap and bite my headphone cord. Do not bite this cord, my child. It is outside of your reach. No. Do not. You are a strong cat. You are a mighty hunter who does not need that's My child will leave the contents of this desk alone. 
Okay, so you need to explain this to me. Because I've been waiting for somebody to bring this meme up again. Why Mm -hmm. is it that the devil is describing a (laughs) law-abiding citizen? Why? Um, I don't understand that aspect. I completely understand if it was, like, God. Because God is on... I think there, there's there's multiple reasons for this. One is because Jesus is on the right side of the format, so it's the second one you read, so that needs to be the punchline. Two, um, people like the devil more. <laughs> it, secular people enjoy the, the concept of Satan more than Jesus. I understand that, Jesus but I the feel like... They can't the, do. Like, I... I... I feel like th- th- every time the devil describes something, that's mm-hmm. not what the devil wants of his child, you know? <laughs> I suppose that's part of the, the charm of the format is it it's breaking a conception. Like the, the, the devil shouldn't be spewing the, the good things you should be doing. And more often than not, the ones that are on the the Jesus side are just insane. Yeah. And some of the ones I've seen where it's just like, what, who would, what, what's wrong with you? Calling gently. Hmm. Aloy. William is showing some symptoms again for the first time in like a few days. Aloy, oh, this is a grand day. Greatness is in the We're just air. We're talking about you or being better. We'll be soon. I know. Greatness, huh? Behold, I call it Morland's amazing elevating orb. I mean, that's more days in a row that he's been doing he's, better than he's he has. He's been remarkable the past few days. This grand construction so, like, will be a spectacle. If anything, I think that's unseen by the still eyes of the living. something worth celebrating. Mm-hmm. Unburdened by gravity. He might just have a couple of relapses now and then, and the gap between them will get longer and longer. By the way, have to wait and see. you messed me up yesterday. Like, you absolutely threw me upside down yesterday when you're like isn't it more impressive (laughs) that you play a bunch of video games and you're holding your own in melee i'm like you're not you weren't supposed to say that out loud (laughs) that's a really damn good point and you were supposed to say that (laughs) (laughs) destination of wonders and amusement Dude, I was thinking about the fact that I said that earlier today. I was like, dang, I really got him good, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm dead to rights. Peace. A mechanical burner. Small, magnificent design. Old world ingenuity at its peak. We found it when we opened up more of the ruins below and discovered numerous statues of strange winged serpents. One such statue had the burner in its mouth. Oh, no doubt, part of some ancient fire-filled spectacle. Oh, Aloy, it's perfect for the orb. The orb? Ponder? A swarm of burrowers chased us out before I could grab it. Could you get it? Please? Okay, Morland, you got me. I'm curious. I'll get it for you. (laughs) I knew I could count on you. Okay, okay. Head down to where we fought that Tide Ripper after you drained all the water. When you get down there, head right and look for- How do all of these people have a standardized codex of machine names? You know? Considering how little some of these cultures seem to want to talk like, to each other. You know, can you go over next to the village? There's a scrapper machine site. Uh, you know how many different names we have for a mountain lion in North America? <laughs> for a room to the side. The statue you want is up high, looming like a nightmare. Oh, and if you'd like a smoother descent into the ruins, use the elevator. Just head back into the building and go upstairs. Got it. I'll see what the I mountain do. lion also Stupendous. known as the cougar, Thank you. puma, panther, or catamount. I await your return. Catamount? Catamount. Mountain cat, catamount, I guess. 
But Panther's not I even ser- correct. <laughs> Big cat. Panthers are black. <laughs> I search catamount and it pulls up cougar. <laughs> Did Google's like, did you mean cougar? <laughs> Cat a mountain, leopard, panther, ocelot, man living in the mountains. Middle Man English cat living the in the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> I was told you went down beneath the ruins by yourself. Up the stairs. If you've got the strike. And down the elevator. Why did you put the elevator upstairs? This seems counterintuitive to the end goals of an elevator. I get a much better picture on my on my capture card than I do the fucking game. It is so white. That astronaut is so white. You like you are seeing the astronaut, right? Like you can make out the details. On my TV, the bloom is ridiculous. So like there's this part where like his arm, you know, meets the the building behind it. Or whatever and mm-hmm. like it kind of starts to clash a little bit the lines are blurred right around where his fingers are and it meets the mm-hmm. you know whatever it is that's behind him uh-huh his entire arm is glowing white on my tv <laughs> oh no like the like the saturn looking planet above him you know where it's you mm-hmm. can clearly that is a white orb you cannot distinguish the rings oh, no. on my tv fun fact apparently a vast majority of male astronauts were also boy scouts why am i not surprised uh, yeah i mean you just get mathematicians who were in the boy scouts and- boy scouts or eagle scouts Cause like, Eagle Scouts act like they're masters, like they have a master's degree. Like Eagle <laughs> Scouts get so fucking elitist being, about that shit. Being an Eagle Scout is getting a master's degree as, a, a, the equivalent of getting a master's degree as a, you know, like a 12 year old. Is the equivalent of getting a master's degree as a 12 year old. Can I get that embroidered on a pillow? <laughs> Super Soup I'm at soup thing? Wait, is that pho? Below it? At the end there? Yes, pho We've got pho Super pho Super pho Wild E Coyote, super fun. <laughs> There's a question mark where Mr. Astronaut is. So do I go up to the top of Mr. Astronaut or down to the bottom of Mr. Astronaut? Decisions, decisions. Is 
he have climb me up the grab me points? It looks like it's technical up. term. Grabby uppy points. Yeah. That was great, but I need to have it very sparingly now. Personally, I've never liked pho. Really? I've tried it a couple of times. Is it the cilantro? I don't know if it was like a place I want. It might, it might be. It's, cilantro, it's either the cilantro or the star anise. It is one of the two. Mm -hmm. If you don't like pho, pho. It's probably the cilantro. I, I have a, a little bit of trouble with star anise sometimes. Mm -hmm. Licorice is not a preferred flavor profile, but yeah, honestly, that's what surprises me about Isaac liking the like the instant pho that we had gotten. The instant other day, pho? He, hey. I don't know, it's, it's like pho is like a ramen, like those ramen microwave things or whatever. I don't, I don't eat it. Um, but he hates licorice. Just abhors it. So that don't make no sense. I don't sense. know. I don't know. Doesn't make any sense to me either. And like I can't remember like what licorice tastes like. I can't recall whether or not I don't like it or not, but I imagine I probably don't. Chances are you probably do not like it. Yeah. So it's not exactly a food I have a lot of opportunities to try. Um, oh, Aloy, let's go. I think, <clears throat> I think between the two, probably not a great uh, combination for liking a soup derived from both. I don't know what's up there. Admittedly, I don't know if I've ever really been to a good pho restaurant. Like, I have been to... Is what? Thai? Is what pho is? Um... Vietnamese, I think. Vietnamese, okay. Like, I have been to restaurants that serve pho amongst other things, and I usually eat mm -hmm. the other things. I don't know if I've ever been to a place that, like, specializes in pho. I went to a, a Vietnamese restaurant when I had pho for the first time, and it was... I couldn't eat it. <laughs> There's this Vietnamese place in the city that I used to go to school in that like, oh, if you find yourself visiting um, New England again, like I have to drag your ass over to this restaurant because <laughs> it serves the single greatest fried rice I've place. ever so had in my place? life. No borrowers, Dude, there is this one place I went to and I... I don't even know where it is. I don't know if it's still open, but I had this fried rice there that was, it was a pineapple cashew raisin Ooh. fried rice. Um, People need to get over it, it pineapple served, It was served food. in a half pineapple. Oh man. That was the best fried rice I've ever had in my life. This is like, it's not pineapple. I want cashew like, in every fried rice dish I have from now on. This fried rice place. It's like, it's not like fruit. It's not anything. It's like literally like pork fried rice, chicken fried rice, beef fried rice. I personally recommend the pork. And mm -hmm. it's just like to die for. I don't know mm -hmm. what the hell spices they use. I don't know what mm -hmm. the hell they do. There's an egg in there. There's just ah, oh, it's, it's gotta just have so egg good. In it. Like, if you don't have egg, what are you doing? 
It's a place nearby that has great broth, but I guarantee it's pumped full of sodium, MSG, cholesterol, and other things I need to avoid. Look. MSG is the best shit ever. Okay, don't at me. I mean, really, the, the Box, concern of MSG you need to get is skinny it's, it's so that you can sodium, eat more. So if you're trying to, if you're concerned about your sodium intake, MSG is something to be concerned about. For sure. So lose a bunch of weight so you can eat like garbage. <laughs> That's the real goal Drink of yourself dieting. Every once in a while, but yeah. <laughs> is to eventually get back to a point where you can just shovel disgusting food in your mouth and you're like, I mean, you know kind of, what? I like, deserve this. That's exactly what I'm doing right nom, now, actually. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I am sitting here eating potato chips, chocolate, toffee chocolate, and mini marshmallows. Oh my god, Audrey. <laughs> And I've, the I thing is, I know I haven't been eating quite as much as I should the past couple of days, so I don't care. I need the calories. It's fine. I've been going absolutely crazy in the gym, like burning four to 500 calories every single time I go for three days straight. So mm -hmm. I feel fine with downing a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Genetically predisposed to having higher cholesterol levels. I've heard some stuff recently that people are putting a lot more um, weight towards cholesterol. Weight? <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Doing my I, part. I think, yeah, like, I, it's so nice to have a hype man. Uh, <laughs> That must be the statue. But yeah, I, I think. Okay. Gotta find yeah, certainly it's it's not something you should just ignore. Event. But I feel like there's been instances, even with my own parents, where like, ah, oh, your cholesterol's a little high here, and it's like it, that's not a problem. There's a crate in that. Everything's fine. Prepare for awe. Prepare for magic. Prepare for the psychic inferno. Dazzling, yeah, she'll raise. fry your mind. <laughs> y como siempre, siempre el, el show, show de mía está, está fuera está de serie. De serie. <laughs> Our sensational mystery and mentalist dinner. Dazzling dancers, devilish divination, and a flaming dragon, too. Certainly a combination. Oh, here. I was like, what's, what's going on? I definitely can't help but roll my eyes whenever a doctor mentions BMI. Really? BMI is a scam, dude. Is it really? Yeah, it's um, it's basically designed around a very specific section of society known as uh, white men. Um, so Ooh. if you're from an ethnicity that is naturally shorter or stockier, like Polynesian, for example, it's going to claim that you're overweight. It claims that Damn. my dad who is a white guy, was overweight because he had more muscle mass than the average person. It thought he was fat because he was muscular. Because all it takes into account is your is basically your weight and your height. Man, it's always racist. So, yeah, it's it's the okay. racism. Gotta get higher up to reach the statue. <laughs> Like, as I go through life, I just find that there's more and more shit that's just been, that's just been racist the whole time. And you're like, what? Yeah. The whole time? And you're like, yeah, it's been the racist always. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> I 
for like trying to test um, Aloy. the efficacy of uh, car safety and uh, never measuring. Car safety is racist. Well, car car safety is sexist actually, because they don't use female test dummies enough, and so a lot of vehicles are designed for taller people, and women on average are shorter. So uh, there's a lot of situations where it's safe if you're above like six feet, but if you're like five four, uh, you might be not, safe above not six be feet. That's just like this is fucking well, like, alpha male list. Yeah, yeah. Well, even like I think they they measure around five eight, but there are you know people who are not even five four. I know multiple people who are under five foot. Under five foot? Those poor people. Yeah. Tiny. No, it's not racist or sexist. This game. Amen, brother. I still, like, can't get over the first in part of this game of Studious Wadis. You know, it's like, Studious this is Wadis. absolutely outrageous. I will not tolerate. Hey, hey. You, what are you doing? Hey, dude, Shh. stop. Dude, stop, stop, stop. The actual line from Ashley Birch. Hey. Shh. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god. Queen. Absolute queen. There's one thing that I saw in the subreddit. I don't know what scene it's from, but there there's one like cutscene where you act they actually mo-capped Aloy licking her lips. Be it like whatever you mm. just said or did was tasty as hell, or my lips are dry, whatever the context it was. It's literally uh -huh. like she's just sitting there like And they mo capped that That's shit. Crazy. That's ridiculous. I need to get the burner. Ah. Huh. Made it. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Mm. Better take it back to Moreland. Wink. That definitely just, that was a it boink. Just... If there ever was. <laughs> I had to look at the stream to rewatch that. <laughs> that was. Boink. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you should clip that. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you. Final Fantasy in me. Have you um, gotten to the point or realized that uh, your party members can tech? They can tech? They can tech. Can so if you get knocked down by something, if you press the shield 
or block or dodge button when they hit the ground they will instantly recover and not lose any health it's something that you have is to- Is that just for the- is that just for the character I'm controlling, or can I do that for everyone in my party? You can do that for everybody in your party, but Noctis has to unlock it as a passive skill. It's not something that he has uh, out of the box. Okay. You're searching for me. Yeah, I definitely haven't found that in this school. Iggy, yet. like, practically depends on it. Um... Mm. The Vista Point Tower? There's a grapple Windows point Vista? there? Windows Vista? I can get inside the astronaut backpack? Backpack, backpack. Where is this forsaken... Oh my god, I need to watch the, the, the capture card to reduce the bloom. Oh my god. <laughs> For strats. Aloy, get up there. This word bank they pull from to come up with these random witch clip names sure is interesting. Rigid Amazing Chamois Permasmug. Yeah, it's like adjective, adjective, something, usually like an emo. How am I supposed to see that with the amount of bloom that is present on my screen? Good question. Yo yo, 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 just one pinnacle and Destiny house slots. We're talking gears, money, my squad. What am I gonna buy? What am I gonna buy? What am I gonna buy? Maybe a tank? F that, a freaking spaceship! Hmm, probably can't afford it. Ball travel, maybe? I will ride an elephant across the gats! Or maybe, just maybe, I will class up my flat all retro with a fake light telephone. Oh yeah, hot. Aminals! I will acquire my own personal pet fox and follow it wherever it goes. Come to think of it, my personal appearance needs upgrades. Thanks. White kicks, yo, fast, like dragon fast. First things first, right now I need another drink real bad. Thanks again for stopping by, boy doy. Once again, you're the MVP for, you know, doing like three streams in a row at this point. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Going to bed, 10 p.m. <laughs> Pathetic. A school night in June. It's not a school night. It's summer vacation. He don't got no job. Yeah. He's gonna he's wake up parents. in the morning and he's gonna watch anime for three hours. <laughs> Play Apex for three hours. Come. Apex. Watch the latest episode of Naruto. Boruto's dad. The Vista Point Tower is down there? Excuse me, buddy. I need to descend somehow. She's on to me. Excuse me. Passing through.
This is the land of the free! How can we be free if we can't even drive our own cars? As your lawyer, As your lawyer I must remind you that removing the car's self-drive automation could lead to... The whole point of this case is to return to my fine vintage automobile to its original O-R-I-G-I-A-N-N-I-L condition. <laughs> and that means no robots. Yes, and in our papers... This is a piece of history. American history. From where we made things. Do they want all our history to vanish? I'm not sure that the court... Oh, I know the court will say, It's just the car. Safety must come first. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, it is likely that... But that's not what this is about! It's about retreating this car to its original, unchained, unbridled, American... I don't know if his car made it very far. Mr. Gator, sir. I'm gonna go ahead and ruin your day. <laughs> Alright. Goodbye. <laughs> Sir? Goodbye. Come on! What? It didn't go up? It did damage to it. It did damage to me! Yes. Okay, other side. the city from this overhang. Maybe I should try to line up the image here.
Bastard. Break my fall. Challenge me, it's not me, not yet, not ready. <laughs> no, you're back. Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly just majestic. There you go, Moreland. Yes, yes. Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh. It's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother <laughs> raised me better than that. <laughs> you should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? I love these guys. How can I say no to that? Such a, just a bunch of wonderful boys. And it's daytime now. We gotta make sure you can actually see the world. Away we go. What was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether <laughs> connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Nah, it's nothing. Oh, well, give it a little. Don't worry play. about it. Looks like you get to fly now. Uh -huh. <laughs> In limited capacity, box. Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah. The history of Osirum flights <laughs> is fascinating. <laughs> several, several Violent failed attempts. <laughs> I feel like we should have mentioned this before. Ah, oh, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. The orb. With simplicity. There is orb. Well, William is really, is swatting at my TV. Chance of exploding. <laughs> William. There are strings wagging around. <laughs> You know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel, crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has I'm pretty high up. Evocative rhymes mm -hmm. about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and portals around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. How do you know what turbulence is? Guys, yet. <sighs> 
more than you turbulence. You don't call turbulence. Uh, for the record. And, like, that was the, not nothing on the, the ground is called turbulence. A, what? a desert what? lightning Where'd storm? Where'd the storm come from? Yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Uh oh. Oh! Well, good thing you have a glider. You bet he doesn't have a glider, too. <laughs> That's just a small step back. Nothing to worry about! They can fix this. They can fix this. I think. Side quest. Mm hmm. Stay back. No. Hey, hey, go away. Go. Shoo. Good. Morland. He's in danger. We How flew we? always. I have to get to him. <laughs> she. She. And I still got a silent strike. <laughs> Your minty fresh clothing. Bye bye. Okay, that's the last one. Better check on Morland. Hold on, Morland. I'll get you out. Aloy, great gears, you're alive. Uh, would you mind applying a little leverage? Hey, you all right? Oh, oh when that maelstrom hit us, everything fell apart. I remember dropping, and then you tumbled out, and... That's okay. We're alive. You know, Gotta brace myself in terms of Osram aviation, <laughs> we're pioneers. And they say it's a cursed field of study. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need help getting back to camp? Yeah, no, I can make it. But I need to get the burner. It fell off when we were attacked. I, mean, I can replace it. I need to get else. the thing that lets me do this again. I Spoken like that. a true Osram. <laughs> <laughs> let's go again! Let's go again! Let's go again! <laughs> do you have any idea what hit us? I couldn't get a good look. Between the screeching and the lightning, it was probably a storm bird. I was wondering if I was Wolf. gonna have to fight a storm Hideous bird. machine. Mm. Well, at least it vanished with the storm. Yeah, it totally vanished with the storm. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, we're not gonna see it again. Oh. Hey, Loy, would you mind finding a way across? I mean, All we need this is metal flower. Alright, maybe not this metal flower. Where's this light coming from? I think I found us a bridge. And Moreland, you're Remember like... Remember this mechanic? You're like, nah. Nah. And it doesn't look like it's dead enough for me to push over. This efficient does not look like it work. <laughs> Make a fine awesome. It doesn't look like it's tall enough. I, I mean, look, look at the end the of that. Look at the end of the tree. Right look how close that, that is. Hell off. Did you glide in? If you would excuse me. I need so a bird to I you need certain thing from bird. I see it. The burner is right below that storm bird. Ah, yeah. Right below the really storm bird to seems to be a, a a couple of different locations. Yeah, at this the same point. one that brought us down. We'll have to kill it to get the burner. Hold it, you ready? Give me that. Ready as I'll ever be. Yay.
ending the stream. <laughs> Very nice. Hit the damn thing. Thank Christ. Critical hit chance plus 15%? Eesh. 15. <sighs> it's dead. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really. Aloy, hey, uh, over here. Fancy my have a moment. Steel to my soul. Oh. oh, I think that Stormbird had it in for me. Or really fancied my orb. Found it. Ah, <laughs> oh, just a hairline crack in the casing. Yeah, I can clean that up with a bit of spot welding. Assuming the ground doesn't open up and swallow us, I, I'm gonna say we're finally safe. Yet again, you risk your life for me and my ambitions. I wish I had Stemmer's words to thank you properly. If it helps, you've inspired me to draft up a new improved orb. Something that unites spectacle and survival. Uh, I'm honored, but I think I'll let Abaddon and Stemmer have the next flight. I'll see you back at the camp. Come on, There's Aloy. So much to think You're about. like the best, so many ideas best to explore. one for this. You have a glider. Until we meet again, may your tools never break, and may your imagination never find its limits. You too, Morland. What a sweet guy. It reminds me a little bit. My brother has this 
I'm not gonna say personality quirk, but like, mm -hmm. we are a whole family of cooks, if you wouldn't believe it. Um, mm -hmm. Entire family. There is a group text where we just send photos of food to each other. Um, mm -hmm. And my brother, like, cannot suffer people in his kitchen. If you're like, mm -hmm. I need a whisk. I'm going to check a few drawers until I find a whisk. You, ch like, by the time you are checking your second drawer, he's, like, breathing down your neck. What do you need? What are you looking for? What can I get you? <laughs> what do you want? I, don't, I just, it's fine. I could probably find it. No, what do you need? I'm going to get it for you. I, I, I want a whisk. I'm going to get it for you. I'm like, fine. And he gets you the whisk. And so there was this this toast that I ha had a, in my mind of like, may, may everybody who enters your kitchen know exactly what they're looking for and exactly where it is. <laughs> I just need some tongs. I'm pretty sure that's four hours. I would say this is a relatively decent place to stop. Yeah. We got Fresh all of quest. the uh, ornaments done. Surprised there wasn't an achievement for that. But all the relic yeah. ruins have been completed. We've got the uh, the thingy with the thingy over at the thingy. And we even did a thingy on top. So, um, I, I now have a lot of swimming to do. Just... A lot of swimming. So Back much. Back around behind the island and... At the least, like, I've got this, like, central area. Then I want to do the, mm -hmm. like, the perimeter around there. But then, yeah. like... Like, we gotta start swimming. In the boot. Splish splash. That is another black box. There's got to be another drone on this island. Either this or this. I got monkeys. Got to swim all the way around the perimeter of the island. <laughs> I've been waiting like 60 hours to, to unlock this part of the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when do I get to go over here? When can, can, all right, I, I did this quest. Can I go over here now? All right, I did this quest. Can I go over here now? All right, I did this. Can I go over there now? Fine. Mm -hmm. I'll get the entirety of the rest of the map done. Hey, can I go over here no. now? Can, can I? <laughs> can I? Um, can uh, at the least can like here? this seems to visually like like you go along the edges. This is all landlocked, right? So unless yeah. there's like some coast on the far south here, which Maybe, like, judging from this angle here, like, maybe there might be a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. But other than yeah. that, like, we're going to be able to fill yeah. this out pretty easily. This? What is this? No. Learn to fly. What is that? What is there? What do you have? <laughs> Unknown campsite. Let's see if I can get to the island. If I can get to the <laughs> island, I'm stopping the stream on the island. <laughs> Mm 
if it gives you gripey complaining. Um, yes, current is too strong. You are leaving the play area. If you continue, you will load from your previous save. I see boats over there. A distracting bot to do a Yoda voice? Okay. All right, I needed to mute myself and practice this for a second. <laughs> mm. Mm. Practice you must. Oh, where's my fucking... Find the mute button. Alright, so like, Yoda, Yoda has this like, inflection that I don't know if I can get. So like, there's, <laughs> there's this like, there's this baseline of Yoda. Like, on the counter you are, that rank of Jedi do not bestow. Mm -hmm. But there's like, I feel like I, I get closer, I, I approach a, a, a eagle voice. Whenever I start to do Yoda, I do. Mm. Funny joke. <laughs> I can do Funny a Yoda impression, but only joke. but only the Yoda impression that the game grips do. Ooh, nice one, Aloy. Difficult to swim. I don't know if I'm being too sing-songy with it. Mm hmm Yeah, like, when, when's the last time you actually heard Yoda speak to compare it? I remember I was talking with a, a friend of mine and his, about one of the new Star Wars movies. And, like, Yoda, like, w when Mark Hamill is like, THE SACRED TEXT! And Yoda's mm -hmm. like, A page-turner they are not. And my my friend was like, it's, it's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. How do they know about the phrase page turner? This is stupid, it's dumb, and I hate it. And I left the movie theater when they said that out loud. I'm like, but hurt you are. <laughs> Correct response. This is Landfall, right? I'm looking for Alba. Overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach. Please. Like they also came me. up with the name Luke. Go. Let him know we're coming. Which uh, is, you know, a little, little modern. Hmm. A little bit. It's her. The Diviner was right. 
It's that lady. Lady! Who's that lady? Who's that lady? Sexy lady! Who's that lady? <laughs> Overseer Bohai. A stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. How long is this cutscene? I'm looking to wrap the stream up. It is determined what uh -oh. <laughs> you fool. Are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... Uh-oh. Who's this white boy? Who is this May white I boy? present our honored CEO? So, here CEO. she is, our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery like indeed, him. my CEO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I, I cannot like answer. seen this black guy somewhere before. Only she can. Some celebrity. But I warn yeah. you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? Looking for a safe point. I'm looking for a place called <laughs> Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva you told me that with your hand. a little bit about what you're after. I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes, the final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far. You have the Wi Fi symbol on his but chest. But the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Why Alva did you is say there, that out loud? Along with, with your the mouth. compliment of diggers and soldiers. <laughs> is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine. Has our nothing people matches theirs. Got the same behind the defenses, <laughs> but they are holding out. <clears throat> like, is he a hot spot? Machines, huh? <laughs> I can help with that. All the tools that you are indeed formidable. <laughs> but no, I have scoot over here. First. Having trouble downloading this. We will answer what we can. <laughs> Bastard. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the board of overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You... Jordan... <laughs> That's what I've seen. It, it does kind of look like him. But. You are addressing the cousin of the emperor of the, the similar Quen. eyes. The cousin of the emperor of the Quen. Heir to the vast Yee. holdings of the great delta. The first CO in five Holder of the great chalice. <laughs> Holder of the sacred chalice of Rix. <laughs> Bearer of the holy <laughs> rings of Beta Z. <laughs> What's to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. Tivis. We're in luck. So you found Thebes. How? 
The ancestors were being it to harder us not and better than you. Made landfall almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details. What the fuck does that mean? Discovered by somebody and verified by me. So they weren't shit until I got involved. Yep. Meant absolutely nothing until my eyes looked at it. Tales about the construction like, hmm, of a yes, great this data seems to be made out of data. Where exactly? <laughs> Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Great Pyramid? Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. <clears throat> Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective eyes. against I the know, machine. I know, for real. Like, that's like a halo kind of a... Mm -hmm. Seems as Diviner all suggested. <laughs> what exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Th you did not cross the ocean, Columbus, okay? It was a stone's throw to the mainland. All right. No, these guys are like from. Every possible link to this the is like an outpost from the guys are that are here. from like Asia. Is it? Yeah, these guys are these guys Especially are from like one China and Japan and stuff. Thieves. That that we region. will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. I feel like See? I forgot that detail. Yeah, they they're the the civilization that's developed. You crossed the, the ocean in these ships. Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. Got any more clips it took I can seven put in my years just to ball? build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the seal. The voyage. I hate it. Oh, can you? Stop saying really? CEO like permanently at all times. The always. great CEO has spoken. It was difficult. <laughs> the wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. Good to know. For honor. Good to know. Okay, I totally care about that. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? Hi, William. Thunder. Can jump in, crash back. We've dealt with them before, but this <laughs> one is tougher, stronger. I'm gonna put this live on stream. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna run into chatting. Uh oh. Come on, hop back in there, William. Come on, boy, do the thing. Go. Come on, boy. Do Come on, key. buddy. Screen Aww, black. He jumped away. Never mind. The dream is dead. Sedge. You hate to see it. And it has black armor? Yes. How did you know? <sighs> Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. What is that, like a mohawk bun that this guy is rocking? I've been admiring it for the past few minutes. And by admiring, I mean... A living just... ancestor now walks among Staring us. Staring in utter bewilderment. And she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. 
resupply Can here. You stop if you must. being like then that. On the thieves at it the base of like, the pyramid. Look at that. It's like it's like sprawling it out on the side. Mm hmm. Mid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. All right. Thank God. <laughs> Fire. All right, don't fire, approach fire. anyone else. <laughs> Correction. 50. 90 hours. Like, around this point, I was staring down the barrel of the Elden Ring Platinum Trophy. You know, mm -hmm. like, yeah, I was writing down practically like the last to do list, the last things to check off mm -hmm. to finish up and be done with the game. 92 hours. I still feel like I have so much to do. I have so many side quests. I have errands. I have salvage quests. I have to upgrade the legendary gear. There is still New Game Plus that is available to me. Apparently, New Game Plus, the New Game Plus update came out two days ago. No, yeah, something last like that. week. Yeah. On um, with the 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 PlayStation showcase that they did, right? Like they literally were just like. Yeah, so we're here to, to showcase the new VR title. By the way, here's a major update to Horizon Forbidden West. Surprise. You're welcome. And New Game Plus apparently has new weapons in it. It's not just like... Just having all the old stuff. Right. Dang. And that's why I kind of stayed away entirely from Zero Dawn's New Game Plus. Is like it, it didn't mm -hmm. offer anything. But, like, there's mm -hmm. apparently new content to see with New Game Plus and Forbidden West. And it's like, uh. why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I hit level 50 a while ago. But, like, that does not seem anywhere close to the end. Yeah, you still have a lot of things to, to unlock. Uh. Or again, to one, two, four, five. Four major skills left to learn. And it's just dumping points in Valor skill. Yeah. I was saying this at the beginning of the stream. I wasn't sure if you would caught this at all. Uh, I am hoping that um, the game wants to offer something. That there's some reward for excess skill points. Mm -hmm. But my fear is that they're going to become this like a gigantic repository that is just yeah. on like the next year that I have in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, kids. That's the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging around. Shouts out to Boydoy for being here for three straight streams in a row, and he's probably going to tomorrow. Have a homie. Massive. Thanks again to Box. For diagnosing our stream problems. He's the real MVP. Always appreciated. For sure, for sure. And uh, tune in to the tomorrow to watch Audrey playing inside. Thursday, throwback Thursday is probably going to be the at and Tengu doing Pokemon Coliseum again, and then Friday is gonna be TF2, which I should probably show up. Do you think you'll be feeling good enough to show up? I mean, if I'm feeling all right to stream tomorrow, I I should be good enough to stream on Fair Friday. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
Yeah, I'm Unless thinking... Unless something else tragic happens. We shouldn't have... Fingers like, crossed. I, I think it's okay every, like, other week to have it just be, like, Matt, Tengu, Psycho Kitty, and Isaac at the most, you know? Um, mm -hmm. But, like, at least you and I should get involved every once in a while. It shouldn't just be, like, the expectation that it's a non-full party. Like, obviously, like, all six mm -hmm. of us should be there every single TF2 stream, but, like... Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if I can do like four shows a week every week potentially five if I'm helping with throwback Thursday cuz like mm -hmm. once these guys finish with their Pokemon Coliseum thing like it's right back to the Ocarina of Time on PC thing. Yeah. Um I don't know if we have anything in the docket. Um there like Tengu has some other Pokemon thing that he wanted to do. I don't know if that was a ROM hack or some Nuzlocke thing. Um mm -hmm. but like if they don't have anything, like I I one hundred percent want to do Banjo Tooie on stream. I think that would be a crazy game to to stream. If you've never seen it, yeah. it's it's something else entirely. I've played like half of Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Tooie is so different. Mm. Like, it clearly builds I mean, I upon play things. It. Hmm. And you can be like, "What the heck are you doing?" I'm gonna vomit, like halfway through the first show, because <laughs> of the mistakes that you're making and not doing. So I also wouldn't content. mind doing like Jack Two. Jack mm -hmm. 2 would be crazy on stream. So many old I know, games. there's so many old games. Throwback Thursday, I'm glad. I am genuinely glad that we ended up making that its own segment. Because we yeah. just have non-stop game after game after game of like, Oh my god, I'd love to play yeah, this game Yeah, I played this game when I was a kid. Oh, I played this game when I was a kid. Exactly. Ooh, you know, catch me playing Operation Neptune one of these weeks. What the hell is that? Re remembering how to do math. It's that, a, it's oh, is an that an edutainment game? game? Yeah. Yeah, boy. I want to do an edutainment block one of these weeks. I want to pull together a bunch of, like, you know, like Zoom Beanies, Operation Neptune. Oh, see me um, for Zoom Beanies. <laughs> I, Zoom Beanies were my school. Bees back in the day. Make me a pizza. Make me a pizza. Some of those <laughs> idiots might kill me. Really? <laughs> There's something on there I don't like. Oh my lord. There was this other scholastic. I mean, it might have been like a scholastic game. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, Broderbund Learning Company. Well, it was Scholastic. Oh, Broderbund was different. It was like something Critical else thinking entirely. Company. Oregon Trail was before my time, <laughs> a few years before my time. Um, mm -hmm. There was this like duality when I was a kid, where it's like there were the, the edutainment games that we had at my house, and then like a block down the road was my cousin's house. And, like, it was mm -hmm. literally a block away. We spent ha our entire childhood visiting each other's homes, right? And mm -hmm. their family computer had different edutainment games. And one where it's, like, I was a first grader, and they had second grader edutainment games on their family computer that I mm -hmm. wasn't allowed to play because <laughs> I was a first grader. <laughs> You're just a... <laughs> this is too big brain for you. Oh, it was silly. All right. Getting the hell out of here. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. Bye. -bye. Thanks for watching. Um, hit me up tomorrow when you have a chance. I want us to get, I, I put this content strategy 
I want us to have right, the, the countdown, a right? countdown widget because like yeah, yeah. I've watched I've seen it multiple times where we idle at stream starting soon and our view count will fluctuate like crazy. We'll go from one viewer to five viewers to three viewers to four viewers, two viewers down mm. to one up to three. It's like yeah people need to know how much time is left before the stream starts otherwise it's like it it even myself yeah. as a viewer if i were to tune one of my favorite content creators like mango if literally mango started his stream and i'm not even one to watch live streams i'm such a terrible content creator like, <laughs> if mango starts his stream and I, I'm gonna like idle there, and it's just music. Like he's not talking, right? It's just like the the overlay to get the stream started. How long am I gonna hang out there? Yeah, like we're talking thirty to sixty seconds, absolute tops. Yeah, if there's no one there talking to me, then. This and we, like, all seem to huh, value, like, this um, mm -hmm. pre-stream screen, right? Like, I think it works out. Like, it's certainly a, a good design. But we we absolutely need to indicate to the viewer when the show should start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't matter if we start like when there's still two minutes left on the counter or minus two minutes yeah. whatever it is as long as the viewer has some basic expectation and if anything that might yeah. help the rest of the team to start the show on a more consistent schedule mm -hmm. <sighs> all right i am tired i'm <laughs> going to bed Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.